Hey guys, so several weeks ago, I lost power for three or four days during a winter storm. You know, out here in the country, that's not fun. That means you don't have, have running water, you can't run your well pump, you can't run your septic pump, you can't run your water heater or any of your electrical essentials. So I decided, screw it, you know, I'm ordering a generator. So today I just kind of want to show you guys the setup I went with in case it's, you know, interests any of you guys or you're thinking about doing something similar. So after a little bit of research, I decided to go with the Westinghouse uh, WGen 9500DF. It's a dual fuel model that can run off of either propane or gasoline. It's both electric and pull start is a 9,500 running watts and it can peak at 12,500. So it should have the power to run basically everything in my home except for my heat pump. Also, it has good fuel economy. Um, it can run for about an hour on two thirds of a gallon of gasoline. And then it was a good price. I feel like it had a lot of value. So I picked it up on sale for just under a thousand dollars. And then I have maybe another two, three hundred dollars in the install setup. So I just wanted to show you kind of what this setup looks like. Here you can see the generator. I've got it hooked up to propane for right now. It's a nice clean way to run it. I might end up picking up like a 100 gallon uh, tank of propane just to have extra on hand. It's just a nice clean way to be able to power it and it's easy to store. Now as far as how this is hooked up, so I decided to go with just a more modular setup. You know, I did think about maybe a home generator setup system. But I just couldn't see spending eight to ten thousand dollars for something that I use so rarely. So this model now, uh, with this setup, I'll just roll this generator out behind my house. I'll run the extension cord from the generator to a generator inlet box that I installed, and then from there I just ran conduit to my main fuse panel. And then the setup I went with is using the main fuse panel with a generator interlock kit. So the generator interlock kit is super simple, but basically what it does is it makes it safe and legal to um, back feed into your main fuse panel. So I installed a 50 amp dual pole breaker on my main fuse panel that's located right next to the main breaker for the fuse panel. And then I installed an interlock kit, which is sized to the model and size of my fuse panel. And this has to be accurate because it has to fit properly so it interlocks correctly. Anyway, I went ahead and installed that and it interlocks so that I can only have my main breaker on or my 50 amp uh, dual pole breaker that back feeds from the generator. So this um, basically makes it safe by not allowing electricity to back feed into the main supply to the home and pose a risk to you know electrical line workers if the power was out. The setup so far, I ran through some tests. It seems to be working great. I just wanted to make sure that the home electronics work fine. For instance, I have my backup power supply and I was wondering, you know, is the electricity clean enough for the uninterruptible power supply to run just fine? And it ran just fine. I was able to run the computers and monitors, lights, you know, all that kind of stuff, ran the septic pump. And uh, so far it seems pretty great. Anyway, if you have any questions, just let me know. I'm happy to kind of help point you in a direction to help you figure this out if you're looking to do something similar i just would caution you if you've never worked with electricity this might be a time that you want to phone a friend or someone that's an electrician it can be dangerous you know working in the main fuse panel there even if you have the power turned off you know the supply lines are hot there's a lot of um, voltage and amperage there but it's a pretty simple setup here let me know if you have any questions anyway take care